Hello, hello, my name's Adam and I'm gonna show you Comp Replicator. Comp Replicator is a script that lets you use data from a spreadsheet to make endless variations of an After Effects comp. You can take the information straight from a CSV and use it to replace text or layer sources. Let me show you how it works. First thing here is we'll want to select our template comp. And since we have this one open, it is already selected. And the next thing we'll want to do here is just go and grab a CSV file. Next step is if we want to render out a movie or a still frame, send it off to Adobe Media Encoder, or you can even duplicate any template comp items that are already in the render queue. So if I open up the CSV file, and if we click over to these numbered tabs, you can see that all of the data from the CSV is loaded up here, including the headers. So the next step is to go through these targets and select each layer that we want to replace. The first one here, the name, is going to be a text layer, so we'll just leave this on the default text filter. And there's a way to fill out these targets automatically, which I'll show you in a minute, but right now I'm doing it the slow way. The next targets we need to replace are layer sources. So we'll switch the filter to source, and what we have here is a file path to a PNG file called Red Team Banner. So we'll select the Team Banner here, which also happens to be inside of a precomp. But don't worry, because Comp Replicator will handle duplicating all of the precomps as well. And this one you can see is just a name, but how are we going to replace a source with a name? Well, it's going to go and search the project and find the corresponding comp or whatever item is named headshot one okay and we're all set up so let's just hit create comp Boop. and now if we, if we hit play we can see we have everything in place john smith software developer blah 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 and it up in the ui it's already queued up to go on and create the next one so we can just jam along Okay, now say we have an issue here. Like, let's say we got an email and Elena's not a data scientist. She's actually a data analyst. We just have to click back on this line row selector to her name and we can update data scientist to data analyst. And there we go. And if we go over to the render queue here, we can see the comps have been added as duplicates of these custom render settings and this custom output module. Okay, I just want to show you real quick how to automatically select the target layers without having to pick each one out of a list. All you have to do is go to your template comp, click on the layer that you want to target, and anywhere in the name, type out at, hashtag, and then the number of the target. So if I do that and then come over and click refresh here, you'll see that it is targeted automatically. Uh, I have also prepared a comp here that I'll just select, which has everything typed out, including inside of the pre-comps. Okay, let's go ahead and just create all, and then take a look at what's actually being created here. Now you can see that we have all the comps, and we have all these assets that have been imported, and we have all of our duplicated pre-comps. And there we go. And finally, if you, you know, say, oh, I need to add still frames of each of these or whatever, you can just click still frame. And as long as you haven't closed the script, you can just hit Q existing and it will put all of your existing comps into the render queue. You might be thinking, you know, this is kind of a small interface. What if I have a whole bunch of data that I want to control? Well, I'm just going to click up here, which shows you any CSV files that you have imported into your project. And if I click this one, you can see that the UI will automatically adjust to the size of your CSV file. If you're like, you know what, I kind of want to see all of my data at once, you can just click into the settings here, add more targets. And now we can see all of the data. And if you prefer to run the script docked, it is fully dockable. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the script. And if you don't have it yet, go grab it at aescripts.com.